you've been watching my videos in regards to the Las Vegas shooting, you already know there's a lot of deception going on in regards to the information that uh, police and FBI and authorities are giving us. There's a lot of lies, changing of timelines, a lot of information and evidence being withheld. And I could go on and on about that, but you already know that. But today I want to expose something really big. Uh, we know that many people reported multiple shootings. Of course, in my theory, uh, I explain that there were multiple shooters in the room where they, where they claimed that it was just Paddock, a lone shooter there, but it wasn't. And it was a sting gone bad. But also people believe that there are multiple shooters at other locations. And that certainly is possible because, um, yeah, it just makes sense. I mean, we've got many witnesses saying that they heard gunshots in numerous locations around Las Vegas. And also, some of the key witnesses on the ground at the concert are saying that the gunfire was on the ground in that area, and they even saw people shooting down on the ground at the concert. I mean, these are eyewitnesses. These are people like you and I. They tell the truth. They saw it with their own eyes. So I do not, I would much rather, I'll put it to you this way, I'd much rather trust you than what we're seeing in the mainstream news media. You tell the truth. I tell the truth. Uh, independent journalists like myself, we get the truth out there and we found out what really is happening, not the lies and deception and the fake news. That's not us. So I trust you. And when eyewitnesses come forward like you and they're saying that they saw this, I believe it. But this is the big thing that I want to expose today. Uh, there's video footage out there and I'm going to put the link to that video. A gentleman just happened to be there and film this. And so the link to that video, which you can watch the whole video, is going to be in the description area of my video here. Uh, he's showing that there were se at least 17 ambulances that pulled up in front of Hooters in Las Vegas. And this is the same night as the time of the shooting at the concert at, by Mandalay Bay. Exact same time. And all these ambulance, ambulances pulling up there. Now, the question is, of course, was, was they setting up there, and you can see some screenshots here, but the question is, were they setting up there in response to the Mandalay Bay shooting? Also, I want to mention KCRA even covered this uh, there in Las Vegas. But, so the question is, uh, was this a setup point, a stage point um, for the actual shooting that was going on at Mandalay Bay. Well, I don't believe so, and many other people don't believe so either, and I want to address that right now. As you can see from this screenshot here, these two points, of location points, are over one mile away. Now, that would make no sense to set these ambulances up in front of the Hooters Hotel, which is over a mile away from Mandalay Bay where the shootings occurred. And the guy that shot this video said that, you know, in his um, information that there were bodies coming out Many bodies coming out of Hooters. So I'd much rather trust him. And the evidence is just there. I mean, take a look at this screenshot. They're not going to set ambulances up over a mile away to rescue victims that are in a life-threatening situation. Because we know when there's gunshots and things of that sort, um, you certainly can't set up the ambulance a mile away because by the time you push them in the, in the, in the um, stretcher or whatever, a mile, they're going to be dead, right? So that would make no sense at all. So I find it hard to believe. And anybody that says that this was a set stage or set up point, I don't believe it. This is just another big lie. And I don't know if I even know anybody saying that. We're just addressing that point. But I'm showing you evidence that I don't believe that's the case. You can clearly see 1.1 miles away between Mandalay Bay Hotel where the shooting occurred and the Hooters Casino uh, where the restaurant is there. And it's right there. You can see it. On this screenshot. Here's a comment that was left on the gentleman's video. Uh, like everyone else here, I'm asking myself, what the F is going on at Hooters? Where are all those ambulance? Why are all those ambulances there? It's too far from Mandalay Bay to be a logical triage location. And I agree with this comment. No one who, has sh who was shot would have been able to be carried there or run or walk to that location. Something's rotten in Las Vegas. And here's another comment at 3700 on that video. She said ambulances came to Mandalay Bay, so Hooters was not a staging ground. Here's another one. The police audio scanner did not mention about, uh, the police scanner did mention about something that happened at Hooters, Trop Tropicana, Bellagio, New, um, New York, New York, and Caesars Palace. It's super hard to find in the audio clip, but this 
right here wasn't missing on the police scanner, either multiple ambulances. This is huge. Okay, so basically what they're saying is there are multiple ambulances at Hooters, and it's really not connected to the um, uh, to the hotel over there where the mass shooting occurred at Mandalay Bay because uh, the scanner was picking up on that. So maybe somebody can find that and post a link to that also. Um, and here's another person right here that addressed it on another website. They just refused to believe that, that the ambulance was set up over a mile away would have, with a lone wolf shooter there at Mandalay Bay would have any connection to, um, to, to the, uh, any type of triage or, or, or stage setup point. It just doesn't make any sense at all. And, and we all know there was no lone shooter. That, that's just ridiculous to hear all those guns going off. And even, one guy even analyzed the audio, an expert on the audio for sh shooting guns, and he proved that there are multiple guns being shot, of course, by more than one shooter. So right here, Benjamin Franks and his friend had just grabbed some tacos and were heading back to their hotel room at the MGM when they noticed a separate disturbance at the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropical Avenue. Fifteen minutes later, from the leisure of his hotel, Franks managed to capture bombshell video footage which shows a total of 17 ambulances removing human bodies from hooters, contradicting the official story told by Clark County Sheriff Joe's Lombardo. And here's another lie. You know, he's been, they've been caught in so many lies that I think they're being controlled by a higher organization. I expose that in some of my videos. But right here, we're seeing another lie take place by what they're being, uh, by being told by Las Vegas police. And we've seen this over and over. So I believe this man. I believe um, Franks. And like I said, there's a description in the description area. There's a link. You go see that video. See it for yourself. They are just pulling so many bodies out of Hooters, a man voice can be heard saying at the 24 second mark. I don't know if people are dead. I don't know if people are injured. They just keep pulling them out, though. Something definitely happened at Hooters, though. I must have happened. It must have happened at Hooters, Hooters dude, because they are all showing up there, he said. It looks like most of them are at Hooters. Police Department FBI are lying to the public, general public and have not been forthcoming about all the events that occurred that night. Me and my buddy went to Vegas for two days. That was our first day there and had been out on the strip earlier but drove to Circus Circus later on. We had just gotten tacos when we finally reached Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard is when we saw everyone running and all the police. We were lucky to get to the MGM parking grand and into our room about 15 minutes later and that's when the video starts. We had no idea what was going on. The YouTuber wrote about this, you know, and you can see, I mean, you, like I said, that video is in my description here. And he's, he's a first-hand witness. He saw what happened. He saw the bodies coming out of Hooters. Astonishingly, this all dovetails with an October 14th and Telehub report, which documents how an eyewitness is playing in a radio interview that one of his girlfriends witnessed a solo SWAT guy into the back of Hooters. So he, they're even saying the witness here saw a SWAT guy into the back of Hooters. You know, this verifies everything. Um, here's the article. A few minutes later, after the gunfire and the venue subsided, Rick went back up with all five members of his group near a sign that they used as a landmark, which is located between Hooters and Motel 6, which uh, is when a frantic stampede fled Hooters. So people are running out of Hooters, and, and I guess they're pulling bodies out of there too. There was a bunch of people trying to get the hell away from Hooters, so we did too, he explained, so we started running again. Rick also pointed out that at one point he had witnessed SWAT guy enter Hooters through the back door, which he brought, which he thought was suspicious. The scene was fluid and rapidly changing. Nobody could be trusted. According to Rick, the scene was fluid and rapidly changing. Nobody could be trusted. At one point, the group was told that a shooter had stolen a police car, which elevated concern. Now, that's interesting. And here you can see this screenshot here. And this is the screenshot from the video right there. And it has over 34,000 views. Go see that in the subscription area. This is something that I'm focused my attention on today because I'm one of about two um, independent journalists and another really big one uh, that's picked up on this and we're getting that out there and there's going to be more. This is breaking information that really, even though it happened then, the details now with the solid evidence have just come out in the last two days and that's why I'm giving it to you now. So like this, leave comments, share it. We need to get this out there. We need to know the truth and we need to find out exactly what happened in Las Vegas. The victims, the family members of the victims, they deserve the truth. You deserve the truth. So get this out there, make this go viral, and let's get the truth. Together, we can make a difference. More gunshots. Didn't hear any movie in there, so that's good.
they're just pulling so many bodies out of that Hooters. I don't know if people are dead. I don't know if they're just injured. They just keep on pulling them out, though. Here comes another ambulance. There's already been at least six ambulances that have left this Hooters. There goes one. Here comes another one. They got police all up and down the Vegas Strip. It looks like they got the Vegas Strip blocked up. I'd say maybe a good two mile perimeter. Right into a big square. So many places to hide. They got a big pack of them over there too. So I don't know if they're just blocking that off or... But something definitely happened to Hooters, dude. No doubt. Let's see if we can find something on the news. Go local. Here comes another ambulance. Two, dude! Look at this, Ben. Three! Oh my god, dude. Dude, dude, he probably ran into the Hooters and started shooting people. That's what I'm thinking. Well, no, that doesn't make sense because these cops would be coming fucking rushing over here. What the fuck? Something definitely happened to Hooters, though. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... If this ain't on the news yet, look, another one, there's 10. Some, there's some shitty news reporters out there. Oh my god, dude, look at this, Ben. Three more just pulled up. No way. Yeah, it must have happened at Hooters, dude, because they're all showing up there. Yep, look at them. Bringing the stretcher out right away. All of them. Every single one. Oh my god. Oh my god, here comes another one! I don't know, I think he's... He's going somewhere up. He must already have one in there. It must have been two different areas or something. But it looks like most of them are at Hooters. There goes another ambulance up there. there. There's one right there. Here comes another one. Here comes another one. Three more! Ben, dude, look at this. Look at this. There's gotta be something on Three more just pulled up. Here comes another one. It's probably a good thing we went to Circus Circus. It's a good thing we didn't save Tropicana for last. Hey, of course there's no news channels. Whatever happened to that guy? Where's the guy at? In the tray on the bed. Pretty sure. Here comes another one. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 ambulances. There goes one. There goes another. Oh no, they're just pulling into the side line. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, let's see. TV guy.
they could start broadcasting on the network. They got a network. There it is. We see a lot of that area now is on lockdown. Uh, we know that many of the properties are on lockdown. No signal. Come on. Out in uh, the uh, property, they have been um, clearing the floors and uh, the hotel. Bay. And in fact, uh, many of the guests have. evacuated and kind of leaving that area. Nathan, bring us up to speed. Yeah, you're right. Again, we are... Fucking goddamn it. Don't stream if you can't stream. What the fuck? He just this area off we've seen some of Metro's uh, units come through here and they have a, an entire kind of tactical the perimeter as well. Uh, and you, all of the first responders, all of those Firefighters, ambulances, all getting in here, trying to. I'm just going to go. See if it plays. I'm ready to switch back and forth. Advantage. I spoke to one witness who told me that that's exactly what he saw. He saw someone that was several floors high and was shooting into the crowd of people. He said. Uh, how many people might have been injured in this, uh, but as even kind of what has happened here on the, this. Man, I wish I could hear what's actually going on. Apparently it was a mainland bay. We said a guy was several floors up firing into the crowd. Thousands of people. Walk down here and you can see just kind of how many people in the scope of it that have been affected by this. And by the way, this road, Las Vegas Boulevard, completely and effectively shut down at this point. A lot of people on their phones, you can see, trying to get in contact with family, presumably. I don't want to be out there. All these people are stuck out there. to figure out exactly what is going on. Uh, but again, Gerard, this is a, a very fluid situation. We're trying to figure out exactly uh, what's going on here. But the main priority that police have... So they don't even know what's going on. You can see some of the... Uh, officers telling people that are getting into the road to get out of the road safety here is priority you can see some more folks over here uh kind of coming into the cordoned off kind of safe area the area that police are telling everybody to go to uh but there was a lot of folks here in the direct aftermath they said within five ten minutes i caught up with them and they were asking where do i go i don't know where to go how can i get a cab out of here and everything kind of just enclosed in on them and was trapped and if you take a look on this side on the west side of the strip here, you can see it's all lined up with police cars, all units out here from different agencies here trying to help out. And we also have air units that are kind of patrolling and getting uh, a look at the, from the sky here as well. But again, we are actively trying to work with, uh, and trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. We're going to talk to some more folks, see if what they have to say, what this experience has been like for them. But for now, let's send it back to you, Gerard. Right, uh, Nathan, thank you once again for the update uh, there. Just outside uh, Mandalay Bay, want to bring people up to speed. There has been a shooting with uh, multiple victims just outside of Mandalay Bay. There was Turn this off, you can hear people screaming and yelling the outside. Park Harvest Festival, and I've just learned from a police source that the shooting... This fucking air vent thing's cool. ...the finale, uh, when Jason Aldean uh, was performing, he's a country performer, he was performing his uh, finale... Was it open? Yeah. So multiple victims. You hear that? Was it a gunshot? No, somebody said get back. Oh 
wish I had binoculars right now. We're probably fucking idiots for sitting here. But Mandalay Bay's right over there. But if they were shooting at Mandalay Bay, why is there so many people coming out of Hooters? Right. So I don't think they know the whole story. Semi-automatic. We moved behind a building here because it just didn't sound right. And then we hid behind a building and we could just hear hundreds of rounds going off. And then about 10 minutes later, the police came and then blocked off all the streets and just very overwhelming and and very scary. Yeah. Um, so as you moved down this way, how far up were they? Uh, how, cl how close were you to the Route 91 uh, Festival? Oh, we're only about not even a block from it. Maybe they're more than two blocks. And you could hear it from that far away. Absolutely, because we're, and then there was, what was weird is Yeah, but if it was only at that place, why are they at Hooters, dude? The there had to have been two. Because that concert down there across the from Mendeley Bay. But now, hearing from what some people were saying, they were shooting into the crowd up the, which is across the street, makes a little more sense. I mean, it's just so surreal. I mean, were you all, were you at all concerned about your safety? Because obviously we were moving that direction. Absolutely, because it just sounded like open shooting for a few minutes, and that's why we hid behind a building. Um, and then we saw people coming out of Mandalay Bay, and then we saw police officers running across the street into Mandalay Bay. Um, and we just hid behind Hopefully whoever we did it, they fucking killed us over here. So that fucker was pent up in Mandalay Bay. The building here. And you can see too, uh, the Metro helicopter. He was shooting from Mandalay and, uh, Bay into the crowd uh, at the concert. That's what they say. But what about Hooters? About, I would say 10, 15 minutes, and now that helicopter you can't shoot Hooters from Mandalay Bay. Here, um, going around uh, this block, uh, the larger and something definitely block, happened in there. Um, and, uh, they got people sitting there. I'm guessing they're giving statements or something. Still, what is going on? And, and many people are, are, are actually not but moved very far from Mandalay Bay at this point. Uh, there are some people standing <coughs> outside here um, waiting to see what Four exactly ambulances. is happening out here. We'll keep talking to people and see what else um, we can uncover as we're out here. Reporting live, Christy Wilkins. What do they got on the ground there? Uh, what are they doing? Or they put like mats out. I want to let people know that whenever there is a situation like this, a, a mass a potential casualty situation, and we essentially have uh, the majority of our police force involved in this, it's very difficult. Is to that hazmat? Uh, information because the information is very fluid. Is that a hazmat uh, chart? We are getting many, many phone calls to our newsroom right now. I mean, my personal phone is just going crazy. People are asking uh, for information. Yeah, it says a music festival, but they're, they're doing something at the Hooters. They pulled plenty of people out of Hooters, and that's like two blocks away from the festival. So maybe there's two. Had to be two. Two suspects confirmed. Many, many victims, and my police source tells me, in fact, that there are several fatalities, confirmed deaths near the main stage. The main stage being. Uh, the stage where the Route 91 oh, Harvest Festival concert was taking place directly across the street, uh, across the boulevard there from Mandalay Bay. Multiple gunshot victims. There was immediate panic, as you might imagine. People were running in all directions, including out onto the tarmac, uh, which the airport is right there. You know, they have those private jet hangars. And now those crowds are now being uh, 
ushered into a specific area away from the Natalie Bay Hotel. That is where the shooters are believed to be staged. The uh, two suspects and possibly Bay. more. And uh, Metro is on the scene. If there's two in Mandalay Bay, then there's three because in the process of clearing the floor. Someone was at Hooters doing area. something. That entire section of the strip is now blocked. There goes our gun traffic. right. Uh, people have been evacuated from <coughs> there. Uh, several properties, strip properties, are on lockdown, and parts of the roads are uh, blocked as well. We're showing you uh, live pictures here. You can see uh, metro officers. Those, these fucking idiots were letting anybody in. Out of the like room key, room key. Yeah. Of, uh, of officers uh, headed. We believe. I don't give a shit if you're panicked. Panic. Room key. But, uh, <laughs> they have been deployed in. Massive I'm just glad we got here, dude. I did not want to be out there. That's for damn sure. You're right. They had a runner. David O'Neill is standing there. Was it? He said that somebody's running. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a police chase. I thought they were chasing after somebody. You know, like I said, it's been a very terrifying situation for a lot of people out here. And for us, as we got all this. They're dispersing all those people. They had them all together, but now they're all walking around. Look, tactical team just moved in. You know how long it's going to take to clear every room? Mandalay Bay is right there. It's a big yellow building. They said it's where the shootings happen, but there's... Look at all those fucking ambulances over at the Hooters. They got a helicopter flying around the middle of um, like a car park thing, and then it's like the SWAT came and said, Hands up, with this one, we're unarmed, we just we would rush it out this way. You, you, you said that you described to me that you were running from Mandalay Bay for like the last hour. Why do you feel like you were running? I mean, where were you? Yeah, we, we, we're shooters, you know, the police were, you know, the police were wanting to tell us to go in, they were telling us to go that way, so we knew they were confused like we were, and we just wanted to stay close to the then this one SWAT car, they let it rush us out, and they said, Go that way. And, Come this way. We, we feel like I said, there's one place here. Yeah. Like, well, I'm sprinting or, or, or running. <laughs> and you know, carrying bags and helping people. And, yeah, we stuck with about, I don't know, 12, 14 of us, so we all stuck together. A couple of big boys, bigger than, you know, like big boys, and we thought, well, we'd have to try to stay together. What went through your head, I mean, when you heard shooter? <laughs> I'm from Australia, we don't cop this sort of stuff in Australia that much, but he just kind of keeps me people safe. I suppose if you run and let the people tell you. So are you guys staying at the Mandalay Bay? Yeah, yeah. We had conferences there tomorrow, today, and the next day. Did you see anybody that was injured or hurt? No, yeah. apparently the, all the Twitter reports is that the shooters are shooting at the concert across the hall. Well, thankfully you guys are okay. Hopefully we can get everybody to keep safe out here. Okay, uh, it looks like we have some, some movement here. They're kind of expanding the perimeter here. Police are telling everybody to move further south. So we're going to do that as well. And if you can <coughs> turn the camera here, you can see it looks like teams are getting ready to move in. So this is... I told you in there. Based in the urgency that we see. A lot of people out here with their phones trying to document In the Mandalay Bay? Yeah, so that, that, right there. They're out in front of the Mandalay Bay. But who did they? I was trying to migrate. That's a good question. So we're not getting in anybody's way here. And trying to get thousands and thousands of people to move all cohesively and out of the way and keep them out of harm's way. I mean, that's the priority here for Metro and all of the law enforcement agencies that are out here right now. Uh, but it's a surreal sight to see. All right, uh, Nathan, uh, whatever you do, just make sure that you're following the, the hell of a weekend to go to Vegas. The officers, the, the commands, as, as uh, all the residents there are and the citizens are. We want to go ahead and show you some images as well that we've been receiving uh, via social media. This is uh, via Banjo. And what you're looking at here are the crowds running, uh, presumably after those shots were fired. Some of those uh, people you see there hitting the ground 
uh, for their own safety, and, and we don't know if they were told to hit the ground or they heard those shots and they just did that out of their own uh, reaction time. Uh, we're also getting uh, some new information from our police sources that, uh, in fact, uh, we have been hearing all evening that uh, there were multiple victims a as a result of this shooting. Uh, so many now we're hearing that uh, the ER at UMC is at capacity and that many of the victims are now being transported to Sunrise ER. Multiple gunshot victims, including a Metro police officer, we understand was shot in the neck and transported to UMC. Uh, other victims as well. Shot, dude. And police uh, sources telling us that it is believed that some of those are fatal victims, uh, sadly. So uh, obviously it's still a fluid scene, as you can see. Uh, Nathan showing us just moments ago that the uh, SWAT teams are still still moving in. We've got some live pictures here now Damn, to show you of the crowds as they're being ushered away from that active scene. Uh, police they know where he's at. Also moving. We Otherwise, they wouldn't they right wouldn't be wasting there. that many bodies. You know that there was a, a, a group of Metro officers and uh, SWAT teams that entered Mandalay, Mandalay Bay just a short time ago. It appears that they have called in for backup, uh, perhaps uh, just to make sure that all of the areas are, are covered uh, here. But again, it's believed that there are two, possibly more, active shooters somewhere on the Mandalay Bay property that they were firing at the crowd that was attending that Harvest 91 concert, uh, the Route 91 concert uh, just across the street from Mandalay Bay. And uh, that's when the chaos ensued. Those shots were fired. People began running, and there were multiple victims that were unfortunately shot. And uh, all of that information still coming into our newsroom. But uh, Christy Wilcox is. Or this anything about Hooters? Well. Something obviously yeah, happened. We want to send it over to her for an update uh, from her vantage point. Uh, tell us uh, first where you're at, uh, Christy, and, and what you're seeing. Well, we're we're right at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and Four Seasons Drive, and police have been actively telling us to move back, move back, and that's probably why you've seen our video uh, be, you know, shaky and, and uh, because we're continuing right being pushed back. The McDonald's we were just we at. We just saw about 20 officers across the street from no, the we were in the one Bay, like five miles away. Uh, with their weapons in hand, yeah. moving to no, the one. scene out here, and of course you can see all these other Metro officers coming up on, on the scene here gosh, the cars just keep coming, and uh, they keep asking us just to, to move back and to, uh, you know, move back, because they're really not sure, I believe, how safe things are out here at this point. Um, you can still see the officers moving up the side of the street up That's here. They're passing in front of the Mandalay Bay sign at this, time, at this yeah. time. And uh, actually, we have another police officer right here in front of the liquor store asking us again to move, and I'll get out of the way here. Um, you can see that they're very concerned about people's safety out here and just locking down this scene at this point. Uh, we will continue to move back here, of course, um, because you just don't know what's going on out here at this point. And uh, obviously, they're very concerned about uh, folks out here, the rest of the folks out here are staying safe and just getting them away from the scene as we speak. Yeah, I don't know, Ben. They got another fire truck pulling up. And the news doesn't know about it yet. That's a hazmat truck. That one with the lights on the back and the door open on the side. That's a hazmat truck. What we're getting is a bunch of the Metro officers have just continuous, uh, continuously moved us back further and further from the scene because I think they just it's likely they don't know uh, where these shooters or where these uh, active shooters are right now. Um, so I haven't heard much from Metro, but I have been talking to people out here locally on the scene and actually right here behind me, another <laughs> officer asking us to move out of the way. I think they're just very concerned. And actually, okay, so let me show you here. Uh, I had just told you that police, uh, about 20 police were down by the Mandalay Bay sign, but you can also see right here across from us uh, off of uh, Four Seasons Drive and Las Vegas Boulevard. We have another group of police officers uh, standing here getting ready, I would imagine, to move in that direction as well. Hey, Scott, can we move uh, this way? We can show these guys over here also preparing. So there is just a massive, massive amount of police presence down, pre police presence down here, uh, worried about folks. All these uh, roadways, of course, blocked off at this point. Majora and Latoya, I'll send it back to you.
Uh, all right. Uh, here we go. Squat is right here. Squat we wanna, is across uh, the street. We want to go ahead and get our uh, viewers up to speed. We're showing you some live images uh, near Mandalay Bay. This is where all of this is taking place. Uh, squat teams uh, in place. Uh, active shooter teams are in place. Two suspects, it is believed, uh, were firing shots uh, from Mandalay Bay to a crowd of concert goers. They were attending the Route 91 concert, the Harvest Festival, which is taking place at that outdoor stage just across the street uh, from Mandalay Bay. It's that same stage that uh, the iHeart Music Festival uses. And we're told uh, that uh, the shots were fired during the finale of the concert when Jason Aldean, uh, a country performer, was singing his his final song. When the shots rang out, crowds of course panicked and started dispersing immediately. They ran in all directions. We're told some ran all the way towards Top Golf. In fact, there was a, a, a gunshot victim who ran in that direction. Others ran out onto the tarmac of the airport near where the private jet hangars are. And uh, obviously there was some panic. Now, what we confirmed through our police sources here at News 3 is that there are multiple victims, uh, possibly multiple fatal victims. Many were taken to UMC, we're told the ER there is at capacity, and that they are now moving many to Sunrise ER. There were so many victims, uh, according to my police source, that, that uh, Metro units were actually uh, transporting victims in patrol cars. They couldn't wait for ambulances because there were victims right there needing immediate attention. Man, that's crazy, there's gotta be so many Holy victims. shit, man! There's gonna be so we walked away for five minutes. What is that down there? What is that tarp? What are they doing? If that's a hazmat truck, the only time hazmat trucks show up is like when a meth lab explodes. Yeah. That's right. So if anybody out there with any earshot of this broadcast has communication with anybody down the strip, tell them very clearly to follow the direction of police immediately on that scene follow the direction of police uh, i can tell you both the toy engine works i drove in from summerland there on the 95 i passed four ambulances uh, hey, i don't even know if we'll be able to go on outside the direction. Direction. so you can just see by Fuck them i'm gonna go on outside this was a very if they if they can't catch this dude like by morning like yeah they won't land us out if they go and catch him dude nathan is uh, down there covering things for us as well. Nathan, what can you tell us what have you learned since we last saw you? Well, we're still moving. Police keep telling us as we are walking down Las Vegas Boulevard that we have to keep moving to keep everybody safe. And it's a slow but steady pace with thousands of people telling them to keep on the sidewalk so they can keep it a little So fucking cars that are coming through and trying to make they, it They're not going to be able to go uh, home for hours. Yeah. Okay. I'm recovering right there. What are they doing down there? They're like assembling something. I wish I had binoculars. What, right? I just can't tell what they're doing, but they laid down like blankets. I don't know. They can't be working on people. They have to. I think maybe. I don't know, dude. Maybe there was a gas leak. Well, there's just people coming out, driving out like there's nothing going on, but there's obviously something to do, you know? Look at that car right there, just driving out. It's a taxi. Look at those cops going through there. Where are they going? They might be searching this hotel tonight. They might come search this room. Not for... Unless this not is... Not for material things for a person. Yeah. Oh, I know. What I'm saying, like, they're gonna... They might... That's gonna be scary as fuck, dude, if we get that knock at the door. 
a we'll, we'll good question. Like, what are you guys doing up here? <laughs> you know? I'm just, man, I'm so glad we were where we were. Because if we weren't there, there, we'd be stuck out there in traffic, dude. Well, we got proof, like, legit proof. If they're like, where are you guys at at this time? Getting 30 tacos. Call Jack in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Fucking coward. I just want to know why, dude. Uh, obviously, it's just terrorism. Ambulance, a private ambulance company here in the valley, and they tell us that they have mismatched motherfucking coward, dude. To the scene, and it appears that there are multiple sites now with active shooters. Uh, again, that, that part with uh, multiple sites is not confirmed, but that's what they're hearing uh, via the ambulance company. So, uh, obviously, there's just a lot going on here, and police are trying to get a grip on it. And the priority is to get people safe and get these suspects into custody. Nick, the question I have when I hear that update that the suspect has been, according to your source, one of the suspects has been found dead in a room. Is that, is that a hotel room in a high-rise tower? Because you just heard Nathan say that a lot of people down there are thinking that some of the bullets came from above or on, from a high-rise. So it makes you wonder if they didn't storm. Well, yeah, a fucking cop got shot in the neck. Where do you think the shots came and, from? And that's what we heard early on from one of our police Straight across? As well, so they must have been sniped. Suspects, two suspects, or he shot a machine gun out the window. He had to have broken the window at the Mandalay Bay. Because how are you going to get it open to shoot? Well, people said they heard shotguns. No, machine guns. Well, no, I heard people on, when we were driving in say they heard shotguns. I mean, maybe it wasn't, but maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. Dude, there could be somebody in this hotel that's going to probably, that could strike tomorrow. Like, oh, I'll let everything die down. And that's the question that we all have at this point. Well, first, obviously, we want everyone to be safe. We want everyone to be uh, evacuated. You're gonna shoot me. You better kill me. In that area, you know people. We have received calls from people who are down in that area. You just have to pay attention to what police are telling you, what authorities and first responders are telling you to do. Scary, dude. Do not take yeah. chances. Don't Super try to turn around and go back to your room. It's like a room, fucking horror movie. Whatever venue you were in, you have to pay attention to authorities in situations like this. We have every reason to believe that this is still active in the sense that. We saw all those SWAT officers still moving into the scene, so we believe that they uh, are, are still in the process of trying to apprehend a, a suspect or suspects uh, who are believed to involved in involved in this. All right, and as you were just saying, Gerard, you know, there are a lot of people down there stuck. One of them happens to be one of our own from New Her name is Shella. She's on our production staff, and she was actually in the Mandalay Bay when the, when the shooting just erupted. If you could, go ahead and tell us, Shella, she's on the phone. Holy right shit, dude. Um, where were you? She what got happened? she got kind of the start of when the crowd dispersed. Uh, actually, I worked at the Mandalay Bay, but I was actually in the crowd. So I had walked across um, the street to go see the show, the last act, Jason Alvey, and I was right by the stage. Mm -hmm. Shella, are you safe where you are right now? And what did you see? Yeah, I'm home right now. Um, we heard like this loud noise, and someone next to me told me it was like the speaker blowing out or something. And then some guy, like three people behind me, he was all covered in blood, and he fell down, and I heard people screaming, he's dead, he's dead. And then to my left, I heard people screaming, someone else is dead. And um, then Jason Alvin ran off the stage, and then everyone just jumped down, and they just kept um, shooting around. They were just shooting. Damn, dude, Jason Aldean was on the stage. And then they were soft for five seconds, and they were Remember that song, right Hit Count, Little Hit Count? Right That's Jason Aldean. Yeah. But what's going on here? <laughs> what your was That's a good goddamn push. With all the ambulances. Are those bodies, bodies right there? Is that what that is? On that tarp? Yeah. Is that what that is, dude? Can you tell us how you reacted and how you managed to get out? There was a bunch of people around me just telling me, like, just let's just stay low. Someone's shooting. Body bags. Just stay low. And then some people were running, and 
No way, dude. They were getting shot. People were rushing and they were falling down. So as soon as they were shot, but it wasn't a non-stop round. And I didn't want to sit there anymore because I figured I was just waiting my turn. So I just got up and I ran. And I ran to the church across Blue Bay and I was behind the church. And there was a bunch of people behind the church, and there was a girl next to me who was shot, and people were giving their bandanas, their shirts, to try to stop the bleeding. Her leg was all shot up, and um, there were, I guess, officers in the back. You saw, so you, you saw a lot of injured people. Uh, I don't know, dude. What are you goddamn asking? Yeah, and I didn't know what to think. I, I just came to see the last act and all these people are just everyone was just so bloody it was just like it was like a massacre they were just all there in one spot and they were just shooting right into the crowd michelle we thank you so much um and we're so grateful that you're okay <laughs> i can imagine though what still must be going through your mind part a lot of shock uh, because like you yeah. said you just went for the final act you had no idea uh that something like this could happen um were they were you able to talk to police? Were they telling people uh, to try to get to a certain place, or were you, did you just go straight home? I went behind the church, and there were policemen with bullets across their chest, and they had rifles, and they told us to stay on that side of the building because the shooter was on the other side. And I, everyone was asking, are they going to come around to this side? Are they moving? Are they mobile? And they were like, you stay here, you stay here. But when the, the ambulance came to take the injured, there weren't many people behind the building and people just started to run and I was one of them and I ran um, to my mom who picked me up halfway down the street and as I was running everyone was just bleeding there was just there was just so much blood everyone was just injured and I was just I could have sworn I just heard machine gun fire Shella stay by your phone Shella now that we know you are okay our thoughts are with so many people who's uh condition is uh, questionable at this hour we want to let our viewers know that we are not going to be leaving the airways we will have continuing coverage through the night this has happened in las vegas a mass shooting an active it, shooting here we told it is now on the las vegas strip not bodies jason aldean concert but they're all spread the out song. Uh, you know we have to when we are they're all just spread out remember that we are what else is about it? people who are still down there on the I, Las Vegas why, trips. Why would they uh, lay something Vegas down and then what would Las they put Vegas on top of them? Elsewhere in the nation in this I, I think their bodies do. I don't know what else that could be. I want to let you know that we are here for the night. We will get you the information that you need. Uh, we will provide phone numbers that you can call. If that is, that's sad, dude. We provide phone numbers and resources so that you can get that's all just the here. updates. Well, that you, you still got all over there. We are here to serve our viewers and that's what we will do as we watch police out there running towards the violence right. to try to save lives. Let's check in with Nathan O'Neill, who is still down there on the scene. Nathan, uh, what's your vantage point and, and what's happened since, you, since the last saw you? Well, we've been walking all the way down Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, we're headed towards sunset. That's what they tell us. And they start telling everybody in the crowd to go ahead and stage, and that's going to be the safe place to get to. Right now, you can see we're right here by Maverick Helicopter. This is a ways down south from Mandalay Bay and away from a lot of the staging area for police. We've seen a lot of movement of our law enforcement uh, through over the last few minutes up and down the boulevard. Uh, you can see a lot of the helicopters, they're kind of circling around. Uh, and we have several different agencies out here dealing with this as well. But you can see, just look at this. We have families, we have families on vacation right here with their luggage, families and children. And they're having to experience this like so many others right now, all wondering what's going on and when will this end? We just saw a SWAT vehicle move in right here. You can see, uh, as, as I said, a lot of movement uh, as far as law enforcement goes, a lot of police rushing toward the scene. Uh, but I do want to take you back to a little bit earlier. Uh, we got here on the scene maybe about 10, 15 minutes after uh, those first calls were made because we were in the area and we stopped and we started talking to people, people who were in that venue, in the crowds. Uh, we did a quick interview with them. Go ahead and listen to part of that. Clip after clip after clip, bullets flying everywhere, everybody running. is really, really bad. And you guys said that there were multiple shots fired. We were on the furthest, we were the furthest VIP stages away from Mandalay Bay, and they were ricocheting everywhere where we were. So I mean, it was, they were firing from somewhere high, and they were unloading clip after clip after clip after clip. So there was a shooter you believe? Multiple shooters. Multiple shooters. Multiple shooters. It has to be. How many people were hit? We have no 
idea. I hopefully none, but there was obviously people hit. Did you, did you guys see any victims? I mean, as far yeah. as I saw one drive by right now, giving CPR because he had probably been shot right now. CPR. Wow. There's bullets ricocheting like bounce down by the bottom of our feet because we all got on the floor crawling out, rushing because everybody's rushing out. It we had bullets like two right on our feet. Yeah. So it sounded like hundreds of shots. Yeah, it was hundreds of shots. Yeah. It wouldn't sound like it was hundreds of shots. And then what happened? I mean, how how long was, was did this happen? Five minutes, not even. Yeah. I mean, everybody's still. They, I mean, people I mean, are still running scared. The back streets are all full of people trying to hide out. I mean, everybody. It sounded like a firecracker. And then it ended up not sounding like a firecracker at all. What did you guys? And there you go. There, there was a few of the first moments in the chaos and the fallout of what had happened here. Those people rushing out of the venue as this is all happening, telling us firsthand what they experienced. But as you can see, it's a much different situation at this point because everybody has been migrated from Mandalay Bay all the way down Las Vegas Boulevard, at least from our side of, of things here. You can see they're all here on the east side of the boulevard. They're trying to keep them on the sidewalks, but they're still moving all the way down. I want to turn the camera down because just look, this is a completely stark kind of difference between the Las Vegas Strip and where we are right now. It's actually pretty dark out here. There's no street lights. It's pretty dark, except for those first responders rushing to aid, trying to help people who might be in need at this point. But and Those got to be bodies. We too. have still a ways to go. Uh, there's one that's all the way down to sunset just to get everybody safe. Uh, and we Look at them, just lined up. As well, walking with us. So we're experiencing. If those are bodies, those are so kids. Many people right now, but we're going to go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Nathan. Thank you. Uh, just incredible to hear the uh, testimonials from those. I don't know. We're pretty high up. And actually experiencing this. Uh, again, we have heard that there were multiple shooters, multiple victims, and in fact, we are still hearing that there may be multiple active scenes. In fact, there is a report from a police source that says there is now an SUV that may About have around a device and that has been moved into uh, near that scene as well. Uh, we have a, a yeah, that's what's going on. But there's a suspicious vehicle. That's what they're looking into near the scene. bodies maybe they're assembling something maybe they think there's a bomb dude there's a bomb right there what the fuck are we doing right here definitely machine gun piece of video and sound that we just played police sources again saying that it was at least two people armed with high power weapons and they were firing them in rapid succession and now we have that evidence and, and we're hearing exactly uh, what those officers uh, have described now we're waiting uh, for an official statement from metro obviously their hands are full they're still assessing the situation which we believe is still an active situation we have heard reports that there are multiple active scenes we know mandalay bay is one of them there may be a suspect who uh, who has um, been killed there at the scene uh, at Mandalay Bay. That we're still waiting for confirmation on, but there are other areas as well. well. Security guard Anthony is on the phone. Anthony, what is it like down there? It sounds like a war zone. Yeah, basically, uh, I was standing by at one of the gates when we heard when we saw the fireworks. We saw the people coming toward us. We were like, all right, go the other way, guys. And then we started realizing, oh, this is gunshot. Then kind of the dude just fired off rounds like crazy. People were running out the gates. I got. People come up through gunshots, last clutch, we check on. We're trying to get them out as fast as possible. I mean, I even go to the three to five over to a, a medical station here, set up nearby off the Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, by the time I got back over there, uh, most of the people had been carried out, but everybody else was just laying there, bloody, dead. It was, it was a complete war zone. This is one guy from the fully automatic M4 and M9. Um, as far as I knew, he was by himself at the time. 
Anthony, can you speak to what the security measures were here at the festival? So the first thing we heard on the radio was take cover, take cover. I immediately started to tie people with the alpha gate around another gate so they could get to safety. As soon as I started getting injured people, I started throwing them in any vehicle that I could, having other people taking them to, uh, having other people taking them to the hospital. Uh, once we got everybody out, um, I started heading back to to make sure everybody was fine, and that's when I started transporting people to a uh, hospital or nearby uh, ambulance. And where are you now, Anthony? I'm at, I'm at, one, of my, I'm at one of my friends' house. Yeah. We're, uh, we're, 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 uh, yeah. we're not up the way right now. Uh, we, uh, we were both right there, just in the midst of the whole thing. Just in the midst of the chaos. We want to be very clear so what you're seeing this video and hearing that rapid fire. There Three. Is, uh, weapons that you can One hundred cover. Uh, this is not happening right now. This is video from social media taken within the last hour or so. Uh, we do know that this is still a continuing scene and very active scene. And we have not heard that the shooter or shooters have been uh, caught or killed. But we do want to be very clear, if you're tuning in right now, that that gunfire you're hearing is not happening right now in the Las Vegas Strip. Initially, this happened right around, I would say, 1030 or so. That's when we first started getting uh, our information. It was as the concert was wrapping up, the uh, Route 91 Harvest Festival concert, a country-themed concert that was taking place outdoors. If you're familiar with that area at all, there's a sort of an open field with an outdoor stage area that is set up directly across from uh, Mandalay Bay and the Luxor area. Um, some of the folks that we've been speaking to say they ran to a church. There is a chapel near there as well. A lot of them, uh, from we heard one of our employees uh, here say that uh, they ran back there to cover as these shots were being fired, and this was in the direction of the officers who were at the right. scene. And what's so heartbreaking well, is, I know what that is. Said is that you know she was getting down low, people were literally getting hurt all around her. It was a bloody scene and she thought, I'm a sitting duck. If I continue to stay here, I will be next. And so that's when she ran to that church for cover. But as we could hear it, you know, you're at a loud music venue. Um, you, you may be thinking it's a speaker that back, backfires. You may be thinking that it's fireworks. Uh, right. well, but there's gotta be a crime scene there. There's no, no reason that they're all just stationed there. We talk about this all the time, about right. what Metro does and, and what law enforcement is doing because we know I that don't get why there's places less the cops and more ambulances, you know? So in practice, it's, it's I mean, everybody, target. dude, but all these cops are going in Mandalay Bay right now, probably. Like this could happen no, here. And what I think is, um, that we're bunch of people that got shot are, were at that hotel, stayed in that hotel, you know what I mean? Maybe. And they're possibly sending people to Sunrise. You just don't think it could happen here, even though we know that we are a soft target. And we're hearing stories of people being loaded in the back of pickup trucks and taken to medical centers. We're hearing that Metro Police put people, as many as they could fit, in the back of their patrol cars and get them to the hospital. At one point, our own reporter, Christy Wilcox, was hiding behind a cement barricade and has been moved several times. Number one, Christy, are you safe? And number two, what's the update? Okay, we've lost Christy. At this point, uh, we believe anyway. We keep getting uh, we keep getting moved down the way here. We are just behind the Mandalay Convention Center, right by uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. And I believe if I step out over here, I can tell. I think it's we're just south of Russell. And um, I am hearing that there are two homicide squads that are rolling. Another two are on standby. Uh, that is from a police source. Um, we also had someone from Concierge working inside the Mandalay Bay walk by and say, you know, one of her crew members had just seen dead bodies uh, laying on the ground. I mean, very, very distraught people walking by. And I can tell you when we came down Russell uh, to park over here, we had a man come running up to us, blood down his shirt saying his friends were dead, his friends are dead, and please come help him. And he, then he went running down Las Vegas Boulevard back towards the scene, asking people, anyone, please just come help me. And then uh, he got so distraught a little later that he actually pushed our folk hog uh, away uh, out of the scene. And as you can see, multiple police here just setting up, getting ready to move towards Mandalay Bay as they are needed uh, man it sounds like there's a lot of here, victims of dude um and i don't know if you remember but a couple of months back i had reported on a mass casualty um uh, from the fire department uh, uh that had 
What is it, a canopy? They set up a canopy down there? What is that? That is a canopy.
down here trying to figure out what to do next. So we'll send it back to you. All right, Nathan, stand by. We'll be back to you uh, in moments. Uh, we want to show our videos now, a, a piece of new video that was sent to us by a viewer who was there. Again, this uh, we understand is graphic video. We're watching this for the first time. We believe that you can uh, once again hear the gunshots. Let's go ahead and pull that video. Two different guns. Two different guns. No way, dude. This many casualties? Columbine, dude? They killed like 12, 12 students. This is more than 12, dude. There's way more than 12 here, dude. There's probably be at least 50, dude. That's... Look, you see that group of people? They're just unloading guns into it, dude. Like, and that was two different sets of firing because you hear one and then you heard another one click and then they either they continued inside or someone else was doing inside so there's this is probably the biggest mass shooting in the history of ever dude thus far is that there was an active shooting incident following the concert that was taking place out there at least this is gonna i don't know if we're gonna get back when we're supposed to do possibly on a Upper floor of the Mandalay Bay oh, Casino, oh, shit. firing down onto the crowd. Uh, it is believed that possibly some. I thought that helicopter was flashing its light the, over here, dude. Casino hotel property as well. All of this information. Is I wouldn't included, mind, dude. And uh, we're, we're getting it. Uh, I got nothing waiting for me back in the field, except for my kids. Counterterrorism uh, crews are down there as well. We're also understanding the hospital personnel from every hospital in our valley has been paged in. Uh, so if you were a morning shift worker at a hospital in here in our valley, you have now Well, they're letting people walk by and everything, so I don't know what they're doing down there. UMC is full, and now the, the wounded and the victims are being taken.